Hey, Dakota, how you doing? All right, good job. Great start. Toaster, love it. That's a great image right there. I think that's a nice anchor for the, for, for the composition itself. The other images are good, but I think we're using too many images. I would remove this image right here. Why, you ask? And my reason is because you're already showing the toaster oven here. We don't need to show it twice. That's a little redundant, right? So we can get rid of that. And that'll allow us a little more white space to work with in the composition. Typographically, I think you've done a good job. I think that the hierarchy is excellent. So you've got this nice size in the good relationship between the, the, the headline and the body copy. There's no question that this is taking first position in high typographic hierarchy down to second position for the body copy and third position for the caption. So that's fantastic. A little consistency. You've got one line caption here, but a two line caption here. This is much longer. This is much shorter. Try and keep those as consistent as possible by, by changing that to a two column. But we're not going to be using that right because I'm going to recommend that we get rid of that toaster oven. Okay, um, this is a nice crop. It's a really super interesting image itself. I love the fact that it's bleeding off the page. That's fantastic. This is a nice relationship here, too. You've got this cropped image here, but you've got the other components with the background. So that's, that's creating some nice variety as well. In terms of page mechanics, I'd like to see the... Um, I'd like to see the headline moved to the top of the composition. And right now, the reason I say that is because the headline is taking first position in typographic hierarchy. However, it's not taking first position in the composition. The reason I say that is because the weight of the toaster oven draws all eyes right there. There's no question that the viewer takes a look right there and then subsequently moves to the next weightiest object. So it moves across here. Honestly, when I looked at this composition first, the headline is one of the last things I looked at. For that reason, I recommend recomposing the page. Let's think about something like this. Another thing I'm finding a little bit um, visually uncomfortable is this big indent right here in the first four lines. And that's caused, of course, by a, a, a uh, uh, to fit the, the drawer of this toaster. And so I don't recommend doing that. I just I think it's really, really un visually uncomfortable. So what I would recommend doing is, is recomposing. Keep your toaster the main object. Okay, let's move the, the headline up. Okay, create a relationship with the headline and the subhead. Right now there isn't. Typically the best way to do that is to look in alignment. Okay, so if you have the headline starting here, then just bring that left alignment and align your left align type, bo uh, uh, type box with the headline. Okay, nice drop cap, really good relationship using uh, sans serif and serif. Rags are good, excellent, good job there. There's one pattern I'm seeing I've done. Yeah, it's actually two patterns. The one is, this is okay, but that is creating kind of a wavy pattern. Look at my cursor. Okay, but this is definitely a pattern right here and then right here. You don't want that. You want long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Not extremely long and extremely short. No real great variation between longs and shorts, but you know that's how you set your regs. And again, that's covered in this week's lecture. So, in summer, we've got what I'm going to recommend is you've got your, your your anchor image. That's great. Move the headline towards the top of the composition. Create a nice synergy, a nice relationship between the the, the body copy and the and the headline. Okay, then get rid of that. Recompose these images so that you've got um, so you've got uh, you know works work try to activate the negative space and I'm going to let you do that how you think that's going to be most uh, effectively and then uh, if you're going to use a caption for one image use a caption for all three okay right now you've got a caption this caption is placed in a way that the viewer doesn't know if it's associated with this image or this image so you really want to be careful in the place of, of your cap captions so that it's it's very obvious where they belong. Once we move this headline, there's going to be a lot of negative space down here, so you can redistribute a lot of these um, elements more deeper into the composition, lower in the composition, really activating negative space. Try to really pay attention to negative space, because right now you're, the composition is really cluttered through here. You've got some good negative space down here, but that's it. Everything else is really consumed with uh, 
with with uh, visual elements. So watch your distribution and watch your use expeditious use of negative space. Negative space can and should be used as a design element, not just an area of leftover white space. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know. I'll, I'll try to clarify. Um, those are my recommendations. Other than that, I think you're off to a really, really a wonderful start. I would recommend one thing, though. The typographic color of the, the, this type block right here is pretty dark. The reason we got there is the fact that this is a serif typeface, and the, the kerning is really tight. The leading is pretty tight, too. So it's creating a pretty dark uh, typographic color, and I think we can lighten that up a little bit by increasing the tracking and the, the um, leading associated with this, this type block. Okay? All right, good job. Any questions at all, please let me know. We had this kind of short and condensed week this this week, of course, because of, of Thanksgiving, right? So if you want to work and have me look at it before your your final submission on Sunday, that's fine. Just go ahead and repost. I'll be glad to do that. Otherwise, we'll just see your final composition on Sunday. Okay, any questions at all, please let me know. All right, thanks, Dakota.